What's up? This is another issue of Mod News for the week of May 22nd through the 28th. Starting off, in their most recent news update, The Trap for Half-Life shows plans to release an overhaul update to the mod and release it by the end of June. For those of you Morrowind lovers, the mod Morrowind Rebirth released a weapon reach fix for Morrowind, which will also be implemented into the full version of Morrowind Rebirth when it's released. Desura now supports Command & Conquer 3 mods. The starting lineup is Command & Conquer Retarded, Command & Conquer 3 The Forgotten, Tiberium Essence, Sysmod or Wrath Mod, and Tiberium Wars Advanced. In Firearm Source's Audible Immersion Update, Vincenta, the audio director of Firearm Source, goes over how to increase the immersion through the audio of Firearm Source. The article goes over what they've done in Firearm Source 1.0 and what they're changing to make it better. They're also providing previews of gunshot sounds for you to listen to. Overall, the article was well written and I encourage you to give it a read, even if you aren't developing mods. For those of you who don't know about the Nexus websites, they provide a place for modders to host mods for Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Dragon Age, The Elder Scrolls Oblivion, and Morrowind. On May 24th, they added another notch to their belt. The Witcher Nexus was added, which is actually for The Witcher 2, not to be confused with the first one. On May 26th, Company of Heroes Eastern Front released a patch bringing us up to version 1.4. Version 1.4 fixes balance issues, bugs, and adds new reward units and music for the Soviets. Along with the patch, the update fills us in on Eastern Front's development team's new members, Robotnik, Crassius, and Tiger205. This week, instead of seeing the whole list of mods updated and released, here's a list. I'm also adding links below for them in corresponding order. And that wraps it up for today. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, and visit modinformer.org.